Hello guys, so welcome to Kyo Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So now we'll be continuing with this 3D cart food cart tutorial. So we'll be completing this. So very first of all, we'll be modeling this part. So for that, what I can do over here is like, I'll just go over here, I'll take a box. I can go on to the top view over here. I can just take a box. I can just scale it down. So convert to editable poly. So slightly we'll push this over here. Let's go over here. So select this and extrude it a bit in front select this edges and let's give a bit of chamfer take again a swift loop over here so put one swift loop over here and put one swift loop over here So select the polygons. So just select this. Select this over here. And slightly extrude it in local normal. Again, go over here, select the polygons, again extrude it in front, click OK, select these edges, so now select these edges over here and let's give chamfer over here to make it a bit more smooth so give a bit of swift loop over here select this polygons give a bit of inset click ok so let's go over here go into the side view again take a box so let's create a box from the side view shuffle this over here convert to editable poly select the vertices and put one swift loop I'll again take one more swift loop over here let's put one more swift loop and slightly just shuffle this up okay so now after that go again into this front view over here take a box again select this resize a bit over here convert to editable poly select the backside polygons slightly will insert it extrude a bit Take again a swift loop, select the polygons, extrude it down, scale it from the side, put one more swift loop over here and 
can slightly rotate it. So just rotate it. Alright. So once you're done with this, so I'll select this, both the elements, press shift and drag to make a duplicate of it. So let's make some copies over here. Take a cylinder or you can take a cone over here. Activate this auto grid. Shift this up. So Increase the radius 1 and radius 2 of it. Convert to editable poly. Select the polygons. Insert a bit. And let's delete that. So select this. And you can make multiple copies of it. Alright, so you can make some cans also. So for that let's take a cylinder. So increase our radius. Convert to editable poly. Select the polygons. Give a bit of bevel. Extrude it up. and slightly inset it and again I'll bevel it inside that's it all right so select this edges and let's give a bit of gem fur that's it so again select this all the edges and again give a bit of chamfer to it select this edges give a bit of chamfer and let's click ok So you can resize this, shift and drag to duplicate it. So you can just save your file again over here. So you can just select this whole thing. So now let's go again over here into the side view. Let's take a line over here of this auto grid so select the vertices so go into rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangular and increase the length and width width of it much better so definitely we can adjust this later on so I can go into this front view sorry I'll go into the side view and I'll just take a line over here make it as radial go into the top view and duplicate that till here and click OK take again a line so let's take one more line 
and shift this line a bit up or you can just duplicate it put this line till here so what I can do over here is like I can attach attach it fuse vertices and weld vertices so that can be done and increase the thickness a bit and again mirror it in x axis like this so select the vertices we can slightly shuffle it if required so convert to editable poly so put the edges over here and let's give some connect click ok so select the vertices ok well set it to view ok view only looks much better we can smoothen it afterwards not a problem so again keep this over here shuffle this a bit up alright so we'll be definitely doing some details so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial